Welcome back to Andrews and Cleaning. Today I'm going to be showing you seven different ways that you can clean your entire bathroom. Yes, your entire bathroom with a dishwasher tab. These little suckers are powerful, especially when you put it in something like this because in your dishwasher typically it holds about six and a half gallons of water that's how much water is going through your dishwasher on average when you're washing dishes so can you imagine the punch in one of these and i figure if this is good enough for things that you put in your mouth spoons bowls plates cups all that stuff well i hope you're not gonna put it in your bowl and your plate in your mouth you get the point then it's good enough for your bathroom is this weird heck yes it's weird is this fun well yes yes it is yes it is we like to have some fun over here so i'm just making my own little concoction right here i'm gonna put the lid on here i'm gonna shake it up let this baby dissolve at the end i'm gonna show you one of the coolest ways to clean your bathroom i was very surprised by this you may be very surprised like i've never seen it before but it works so stay tuned i dropped a couple in the toilet accidentally look at the bubbles right there look at the chemical reactions that are taking place that's amazing we'll get to this in a minute now this right here is a whole different ball game in here once this breaks down it hits the water it completely dissolves and then you got a nice concentrated powder on your hands but let's Let's take a peek here at our solution. Look at that, that looks like some mango juice. Very concentrated something or another. It's nice and warm. Is everything dissolved in there? Pretty much. All right, let's do the duty. Let's talk about bathroom vents right here. Now you can put these entire things in your dishwasher. I have a whole video um, in which I did this in terms of dusting your home. It makes it so easy to clean these out. And yet again, it's getting cleaned in your dishwasher with a dishwashing tap. So this is a quick step to save you time. Let's talk about fan vents, shall we? Look at that bad boy up there. These also can go in the dishwasher. Now, mine is a little bit tricky to uninstall because you have to unscrew the light bulb and then there's a screw in there and you gotta take it down. So my husband's gonna help me with that one, but you can put those in the dishwasher. We have the top taken down right here. This also can go in the dishwasher or you can clean it and soak it however you want to. I just wanna make things quick and easy. I love the dishwasher. Bathroom sinks. Let's talk about grime and disgustingness. So since my kids brush their teeth in here and they don't, wipe down the sink when they're done with it as most kids probably don't this is amazing like i'm excited about this right here and it smells awesome all you're gonna do is spray some in there i love these both by the way Ooh wee that smells so good look at the suds look at that look at that right there Ooh, so good cleaning up your sink now if you have some really disgustingness in there um, dishwasher tabs are great at lifting grime and grease and that's why this is awesome in your sink. Go ahead and rinse this off. Looks all sparkly and new. The bathtub. I have an excellent hack on how to clean this without use, getting on your hands and knees right here. But this will make for an excellent degreaser and getting all the scum up in your bathtub as well. Along the rim right here, you can see um, it's yellowing. What I would normally go in is with a cleaning toothbrush, but I can just take my finger right here. Look at that, look at that, you guys. Gross! Now, if you have an issue with mold right here, something that's really helpful, I mean, this is obviously gonna help, um, is you could take like bleach or vinegar or rubbing alcohol and put it on paper towels, wet it, and then just lay it against the mold so that you can um, kill it but you have some sort of water source that's leaking, so you wanna find the source of um, why the mold is developing in the first place. Going into the bathtub right here. So nice. This is awesome, like look at that. Look what came up in there. Ooh wee. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, if you decide to use this method in your bathtub or anything really, you wanna make sure that you rinse it off really well, but it just really lifts stuff. I'm gonna give you an extra bonus tip here. You can also use this in your shower floor right here. If you have a ton of like soap scum, this is a great way to lift that as well. You can use it here in the tracks. You can see down here, it's disgusting. I'd actually spray that in there. And I don't have my cleaning toothbrush in here, but this glove is actually doing a really good job to help clean uh, the door sliders right here and in the interior where a lot of hard water likes to develop and collect. You can use this directly on your shower doors. You can even use the tab itself to clean the shower door. That's one way. Um, another thing that I want to suggest to you here is if you have some really hard water spots, what you're going to want to get here 
are these steel wool quad zero. I've done a lot of videos on this where I've cleaned this entire thing right here. This used to be really, really bad. We're gonna do a wipe down of this as well. But you just take these steel wool professional glass cleaners use this, and this is gonna help lift any of those extra water spots that you couldn't get out with just gloves like this or um, any other sort of scrubbing device. Let's go in on these water spots right here. Now these ones actually will lift. The ones that are deep down in there will not lift because um, I've tried it like a million times and so this is where the steel wool comes in handy. Grab a towel here, wipe it down. How nice that looks. So, so good. Let's say one of your kids got crayon on the bathroom wall here. Now I've done this directly with the dishwasher tab and it's awesome because it's abrasive. But this time we're just gonna go in with the cleaner itself. It is stuck on there. I'm probably gonna need a little bit more abrasive of a pad, but have no fear, my friend. Steel wool cleans pretty much everything. Right here. There we go. I'll just take my glove. Looks like brand new. Let's say you have a really dirty toilet with a ton of hard water stains. Now there's a reason that they tell you not to rinse your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. It's because the dishwasher solution clings better when there's food in there because there's fats um, on the food and so this allows it to do its job. So this works awesome as a toilet bowl cleaner. Now again, would I use this on a regular basis? No, probably not. But it's kind of fun to experiment with these things and try different things out, especially if you're in a pinch and you've tried all of the other commercial products that are on the market and you haven't had any luck. This is wonderful, my friend. Yes, yes, yes it is. Looky, looky, what do we have here? Again, yeah, you're gonna definitely need some more water if you're gonna use this method. I can see it's not fully dissolved um, down in there. Does it work? Yeah, it absolutely works. All right, this one surprised me right here. You can see this line, this white line right here. This is where I apply the solution. Anytime you clean your grout, you wanna make sure it fully dries so that you can see the full effect. I remember trying a bunch of different stuff to clean grout. In fact, I have a whole playlist about cleaning grout. Um, and I was like, that didn't work, but it, you cannot see the full effect until your grout fully dries. This is where I did not apply it. So you can see that there is a difference. Light, and that's pretty dark and dirty right here. Now this is not my favorite method to clean grout, but I was definitely impressed with it. My favorite is bleach or um, toilet bowl cleaner um, or soft scrub. Now it's not something that I would use on a regular basis, but if you have something that's really dirty and disgusting, I would use a little bit of toilet bowl cleaner, a little soft scrub. I have videos on this, I have an entire playlist on that, and then make sure you seal your grout. But look right here, you can tell the difference here in the camera where I did not apply it and where I applied it. I have a grout brush here and then I just have a regular toothbrush. I use both of these things just depending upon how dirty the grout line is. The grout brush is much, uh, is more stiff than a regular toothbrush, but birth, both, birth, both of them worked great. All right, if you enjoyed this video when it comes to cleaning your bathroom with a dishwasher tab, give it a thumbs up, share it out with someone else that you know that loves a good cleaning hack, give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe, lots of goodies in that description box below, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.